Well, a certain kind of salmon is not native to Lake Michigan, but that doesn't mean it's not swimming in the big lake. It's all thanks to the work of the DNR each year, taking eggs and raising them to release them back into Lake Michigan. NBC 26's Josh Visti and Marissa DeCandido show us how that works in this week's Great Outdoors. Inside the DNR fish station in Kiwani, it's one of the busiest times of the year. The fish come up and spawn once a year, so we have to be here and ready for them. Coho salmon spawning season is now underway. These salmon are not native to Lake Michigan. What we're doing here is important. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the fish out in Lake Michigan that we have. It's this DNR process of gathering eggs and raising the fish that keeps the lake stocked. Overall, we need, we're shooting for about a million eggs total, and we'll stock back about a half a million fish as yearlings next year. This time of year, the salmon come from Lake Michigan to the Kiwani River to spawn. The DNR collects the fish and removes the eggs, taking them to a hatchery. Once the fish are uh, hatched and they rear them up for a certain period of time in the hatcheries, then the fish are stocked back into the streams. These salmon help control the alewife population in Lake Michigan and make for some great fishing. And we're still maintaining that balance out on the lake, making sure that we stock enough salmon to support the fishery, but also stocking enough salmon to not overcrash or underutilize the alewife population that's out on the lake. But it's not just about raising the fish. A lot of times what we do here mainly, besides the spawning, which is the most important, is the data collection. 833. These yearly collections helping to track trends. They'll take all those samples back to their lab, analyze them, and then they get back to us and let us know kind of how healthy of a fawning population we have. Once the DNR takes the eggs and studies the fish, their life cycle is over, but the fish don't go to waste. Some are donated to local food pantries for people to eat. Others are made into fertilizer, and some eggs are even turned into bait. The process making sure these popular sport fish are always swimming in Lake Michigan's waters. Having a diverse fishery out in the lake kind of helps us balance out and keep different fish populations out there available for anglers to catch throughout the year. Covering the great outdoors with photojournalist Josh Visti, I'm Marissa DeCandido for NBC 26. Some big, beautiful fish. The eggs gathered this week will not be released back into Lake Michigan until the spring of 2019. That's because the next spawning season is for brown trout, which ends in December. Still ahead.